So an air weapons officer is the baseline air battle manager. It's the position you first start out as a 13 Bravo. It's kind of related to being like an offensive coordinator on a football team. I kind of talk on the radios to all the different planes uh, that are in the AOR and kind of tell them what's out there and what they need to be paying attention to to keep them safe. I decided to become an air weapons officer uh, or an air battle manager uh, because my dad was an air battle manager. Uh, and we actually kind of like the similar things. Uh, and I imagined that since he enjoyed it, I would probably enjoy it. And I don't have any regrets so far. We'll be doing an offensive counter air mission uh, with the 35th Fighter Squadron, uh, some F-16s. And uh, we're gonna go put some bombs on target uh, and do some simulated uh, red air or enemy air uh, counter offensive air. 9, 45, 30,000 hostile, two contacts. I think it's you know, a really cool opportunity uh, to get to fly with my dad on an aircraft that he flew you know, 15 years ago or however many years ago it was. I have never flown with my dad before. Uh, I don't know what year he last flew uh, the AWACS. Might have been 2008? Uh, my, yeah, my final flight was <laughs> in uh, 2008. So airplane's completely different in the back end from the mission systems, but the, uh, the airframe is the same. The jets that he's flying now are the same jets that I flew you know, 20 plus years ago in Southern Watch, Northern Watch, uh, all those different campaigns in CENTCOM, exact same jets, a little bit different in the mission systems. There's no single path uh, to get to where you want to go. Uh, a lot of people look at careers as, hey, I need, I need to do these things or, or I'm not going to achieve what I want to achieve in the military. And no, no two paths are alike. So it's okay if, if you don't do those things uh, that other people do because uh, you, you're kind of setting your own path and you're going to get to, to where you want to get uh, just working hard. So that, the same advice I would give him, I'd give any young officer is just, again, do the best you can uh, where you're at and you'll achieve what you want to achieve. I, I spent a lot of time deployed during my Air Force career through Northern Watch, Southern Watch, uh, OIF, and all the time that I spent uh, in the Middle East. Um, I, I realized that the time is precious you know, your kids grow up fast and, and before you know it, they're all moving out of the house. I very much appreciated the time that I did have with them, uh, knowing that we had commitments uh, to deploy and, and defend the nation. But um, it just made me appreciate the time we did have even that much more. One, two, three.